across the uh, world gold price and also local gold price. And the reason is um, one of the reason is because of the situation between U.S. and Syria has been um, has been better. So that's made um, investors to be less worried. So the gold price dropped to the level around one three six zero. And also on the on the other side for the local gold price. The price here in Thailand also uh, dropped lower. Um, one of the reasons is because of the world gold prices dropped and also because of Thai baht that has been strengthened a lot. And then this week, the Thai baht per U.S. dollar is below 32 baht per U.S. dollar. Mm-hmm. And what about the prices in the country uh, that the U.S. is taking the same trend as, as the global market? Yes, it's still the same, but then... Um, for our local investor right now, if they want to invest in, in gold price, especially for short terms, they has to consider the factors of the uh, volatilities of the Thai baht also, because like um, each day it will swing a lot, like around like 0.10 baht per one US dollar. So this one will be one of the major factors that will impact the local gold price. Mm -hmm. So, um, do you think that as the situation um, with Syria is kind of like going to a more um, easing the tension right now, do you think that the gold prices will um, calm down or take another kind of reaction? Right now, um, as we can see that the situation um, in Syria is just better, as you mentioned, it's easing. Mm -hmm. That's uh, one of the reasons that's made the gold price drop um, to the level around 1360. So right now, like besides of these um, situation, then um, the um, the next big news will be around like um, mid of next week. Right. Um, there will be the FOMC minute, uh, FOMC meeting, and then all the investors will be um, will be looking for that because um, whether they will see whether um, Fed will decide to continue the same numbers of QE or we will decide to reduce the numbers of QE. So that will affect the gold price also because if um, they decide to reduce the numbers of QE. Right. Then, then there is a chance that to push the gold price to come down lower. However, if they maintain the same um, QE numbers, then the price, the gold price, still in the range. So, um, so from today until 17 and 18 of next week, I think that the gold price still in the range, and then the range will be between 1350 mm -hmm. to 1400 US dollar per troy ounce. And what would be your suggestions for go investors to invest uh, to plan for the investment for next week? What are some of the factors that they should monitor? So um, the factors for this week and next week, tomorrow there will be the numbers from the U.S. size, which is the um, unemployment claim number. So uh, we'll see that how's the numbers coming out. If the numbers coming out good, so um, it will pressure the gold price to come down a little bit. But then um, overall, like, for the short-term investor, right now the gold price is still in the down downtrend for the short terms. But then for the medium term, it's still considered as a sideway. So, um, so if we look at the support for each level, the first level will be 1350. Mm -hmm. And then the next support level is at um, 1280. And then the resistance level will be at the level 1400 US dollar per now. So right now for um, short-term investors, we still recommend investors to sell because um, there's still a lot of um, news coming out. And then we, we target that the news that do come out, um, it's real pressure the gold price to come down. So the selling level, we recommend investors to sell once it um, hit above 1380. That should be a good level to sell for the short terms. And um, for buying level, the first buying level is at 1350. But then if it breaks this level, then um, we still recommend investors to wait and see. Mm -hmm. would you say that um, during this, these, this time around, is it the most exciting time for gold investors? We used to say earlier that the gold price may touch uh, 1100 by the end of this year. 1100 uh, um, not exactly, but around, roughly around there. Um, 
You mean um, by the end of this year, the gold price should drop lower to the level 1,100? Yeah, Is we, that right? Yeah, we, we have uh, uh, discussed about this earlier where there is possibility that it may go down there. Um, I don't think that it will go down that low for this year because, like, as you can see, um, around the beginning of this year, that the core price dropped to the level around 1180. Mm -hmm. And so far, we still see a lot of physical buying. Right. And also, right now, like, even at this level, around 1360, 1350, we see some physical demand that starts to come back into this market. So, like, even though, like, at the first level, 1350 still cannot hold, and then the next up part is at 1280 but we still believe that there will be a lot of strong demand from the physical buying so I don't think that by the end of this year the gold price will drop that low to the level 1,100 uh, 1, US dollar for showing out. Especially when uh, during the uh, early of next year there's a lot of festivities from, from uh, like Chinese New Year is that right? Yeah overall like, I think that around like the quarter four this year and the first quarter of next year there's still a lot of uh, physical buying yeah. that will support the gold price not to go down a lot and also in terms of the supply side those mining like once um we can see from from the data this year that when the gold price dropped below 1200 US dollar for China those like mining they start to stop supplying also so um so we believe that even though there, there will be a drop in the gold price, well then it should not drop below 1250. Right. Thank you so much, Kunti Pa, for your insights. Okay, so um, from gold, we're going to move on to the effects from oil prices with Syria as oil prices.